car training video. I wanted to show you guys our setup right now. First outing. And so I was feeling still defeated, but hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will hopefully be doing a potty training video. Today is the first day that we are potty training Ezra. He is 24, 25 months, almost 24. Six months, I think. Um, I don't really count months anymore, but he pretty much just turned two, and we are doing the oh crap potty training method. Uh, link the book below. But yeah, today is day one, and that means no pants. And every time he pees, pretty much just moving him to the potty to try to finish so that he understands when he pees, he needs to pee in the potty. So far, so it is about one o'clock, and um, we started around 8 a.m., so in the last five hours, he has had about six peas, I think, all accidents, which means they did not end up in the potty, and he did not make it to the potty. So I would move him, but he would stop peeing once I got there, which makes sense because there's only so many seconds that he's peeing. Um, so not that much progress, but at least he's peeing enough to have the practice, so we'll keep going. I think one thing that I was afraid of the most was that I'm going to have to keep him entertained for the whole morning and whole day, you know, maybe the next three or so days at home without being able to take him out. But he actually did pretty well, and I, I reserved a lot of toys for him, and maybe later I'll show you the setup and everything that I have going on. But yeah, so I'm just taking a little bit of a break while he naps. We're not doing nap or we're not doing nap or night training yet, so have a little bit of a break. But yeah, we'll see how the rest of today goes. So like I said, he did not pee successfully in the potty yet, but hopefully he will in the afternoon. And he has not pooped yet, so I'll check in later. I wanted to show you guys our setup right now. So this is our couch, which is probably the only thing here. We have hardwood, so it's the only thing that could get dirty and not clean easily. So I basically bought these pee pads and covered it so that he can still play. Here is because he likes to stand here and if he pees it'll just go straight here. So this is one of the toys that I got second hand from a friend at church. Ezra loves Blippi. He loves garbage trucks. So uh, this is one toy that I showed him today for the first time and he's been playing with it a lot. This is one of the potties he has. It's just the OXO Tot one. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace. Lady said it was never used. So this is the one we keep in the living room. So this is his poop basket, which they recommended having a stack of books for when the, your kid has to poop. That way they can sit and be satisfied sitting and reading. So again, he loves Blippi. So I bought these two special Blippi books. So we got these two special Blippi books and he has, he has seen them, but I hid them for the past two months so that he wouldn't see them and he would like want to read them. I like that this one has a lot of interactive stuff, so hopefully it keeps him entertained. And then this one has flaps so that he can, his hands won't be busy, his hands will be busy when he's sitting on the toilet. And then I got him this wee poop on the potty, which is a specific poop book. And so the thought is, you know, once he gets used to reading these books, he knows it's time to poop and it becomes somewhat automatic. Still haven't figured out the best way to clean his potty, I mean he hasn't gone in it yet, but or clean the messes. So far I just have wipes um, in case apparently pee is sterile so it, it isn't doesn't really need to be sanitized. I just have this burp rag in case and then I have two little cars try to keep them entertained sitting on the toilet. So this is his poop basket. Welcome to day two of potty training. Ezra just went down for his nap and my mom is here to help me. So I have a little bit of relief if I ever need to use the bathroom or clean up or something. Um, morning went not so well. He definitely had at least, I think, three accidents where he peed. And I wasn't, I, I got him to the potty, but he stopped or he was done peeing by the time he got there, even though the potty was right next to us. And so I was feeling still defeated, but right before his nap, he, Oh, so I started keeping a pee log, and I think it helped me because it basically seemed like every time he drank milk or he ate something, he then peed within 20 to 30 minutes later. So I knew his time was coming, and I actually just prompted him and said, oh, do you mind? Uh, I said, Ezra, okay, we're going to sit on the potty, and you're going to go potty. You're going to go pee-pee, and we're going to read books. So we read books for about five minutes, and then he didn't do anything. 
he got up, he walked over to his table where he ate his lunch, and that's also that's an area where he normally pees. I was kind of looking to see if he would pee, and he started peeing, and I sat him down on the toilet, and I sat him down on the potty, and he actually finished peeing in the potty for finally, right? <laughs> um, so we praised him and said good job, and then, yeah, so I hope that is progress. Either he all the other times got startled or he would stop every time I put him on the potty but maybe this time he felt more comfortable or he understood to keep peeing because I think he did stop midstream when I was moving him and then when I sat him down he started peeing again <sighs> so I hope that's progress still no poop oh another thing is that I did notice he was trying to poop and I don't know if I handled this the right way but I put the potty right behind him and I said okay go poop in the potty and then I left the room to see if he would feel more comfortable because he told me to leave, but he didn't go. And so instead I stayed in the room and I kind of just said, okay, you know, here's your book. If you want to go pot, here's your book, poop in the potty. And he kind of looked at it and he squatted, but he did not poop. So yeah, I don't know if he got nervous because I was there or I just wanted to make sure to catch the poop. So, cause I know if I had left, he may have just gone on the floor, but maybe that would have been better. I don't know. So next time he tries to poop, I might just take a back seat and see what happens because I don't want him to get nervous and I want him to be able to release it. He might poop during his nap because he has to, so we'll see. And he seemed very excited when he peed in the potty, so I hope that's all progress. We'll see how this afternoon goes. Now I'm going to rest a little bit and gear up for the next half of the day. Sensory activity after a successful potty. Got sand and construction vehicles. That wraps up day two of potty training. I have some good news to report is that right after he woke up, he had another, I guess, half successful pee in the potty. So he started peeing and we were able to catch him, put him on the potty, and he finished peeing on there. And he also pooped in the potty, which I was very surprised about. I think I mentioned earlier in the day I noticed he had to. So I put him in the same location and I knew that he would like that area. It also seemed like he had to poop because he kind of indicated with his uh, facial expressions. So I let him play there. I put the potty right behind him and then I kind of stayed silent so I wouldn't bother him. And I noticed that he actually reached out for me and that usually now I can notice is a sign that he has to do something. And then he sort of um, told me to turn around and then he face back the other way, then turn back around, and I could tell that he was straining on his face, which is what the normal face he makes when he has to poop. And then I just said, it's okay, I sit on the potty and go poop poop. And then he sat down for a little bit, I think, and then he kind of got up again, and then I just left him alone. And then I could see that the poop was coming out a little bit, so I sat him back down, and I kind of rubbed his back, and I said, it's okay, just let it out, good job, it's okay. And then he let it out. Um, and then I let him look at it and flush it away. I think he was a little bit weirded out because he probably has never seen his poop before. But, yeah, we were really proud of him. We kept praising him and saying, good job. Um, he definitely seemed a little bit, yeah, a little off after that. But I'm really proud of him because I know a lot of people struggle with poop. And maybe the first one is going to be easy and the rest are going to be hard. I don't know. But, unfortunately, after that, he did not successfully pee. He had all accidents for the rest of the night. So, Yeah. Either way, I'll say today is a lot of progress from yesterday, and hopefully tomorrow will just get better, and we can continue to move forward because, yeah, I can, I'm definitely running out of activities at home, but luckily he's been okay so far. I think I've introduced all of the new toys at this point, but there's still some sensory activities that I haven't done yet, so praying and hoping that tomorrow goes well and that he'll continue to learn and do better. I still think he is somewhat clueless. I believe he is understanding more about the feeling before he has to go pee because, like I said, he kind of reaches out to me. And I can read his signs a lot better now, but the problem is that um, when I read his signs, I know he it's coming up time for him to pee. If I sit him down, he doesn't pee, even though he's willing to sit on the toilet, sit on the potty, read books, play with toys, he can't release. So I think that's an, a common problem. So I'm going to have to read up a little bit about maybe how to help him with that. But other than that, yeah, I'm just going to rest and see you guys tomorrow. All right, excuse the mess, but what just worked for us is that Ezra poops on his own. He has this little potty chair here and he has this little cubby that he likes to play with. He, put, he has an ambulance that's normally there. Ezra, can you put your ambulance over there? Can you go show them your ambulance? Where's your ambulance? Go put it right there. Go put it in the cubby, right here, right here.
likes to sit on the toilet and play with his ambulance. And I left the room and then he went poop. Did you have a poop all by yourself? Good job, Ezra. Camera shy. So it helped that I left and he was comfortable and I knew he was safe sitting here because he would sit here and play by himself. So Ezra's down for his nap and his day three of potty training and today was pretty successful. In the morning we had a poop on the potty. I think I showed that clip already about how he sat down to play and I left the room and he pooped and I was really surprised. I thought he was gonna pee but he actually pooped. So that would be a really big success. And then after that we actually put him on the big potty and just closed the door and said okay go pee pee and he actually peed. We weren't sure because it sound it was very little and it's hard to tell in a big toilet with water but um, we did see some some wet spots so we thought we were pretty sure and then I think a few hours later or an hour later I put him on the potty and also did the same the big potty and I said the same thing I'll be back go pee pee and I heard him that time and I there basically we can kind of see through the door so I could see him and then he started turning around like he was done so I don't know if he fully emptied his bladder I think next time I try I will definitely say okay I want to hear more pee and make sure he fully empties it but that's still a good win that he was able to use it. So so far he has not vault, he's not peed on the little potty when being prompted. He's only peed on the big potty, but that's still really great. And then he had one accident because um, I had to take a phone call and obviously he peed right when I started talking on the phone. So you know Jamie does say in the book that that means the kid is waiting for you to give them some privacy. So we'll take it as, you know, still a learning experience, even though I was quite upset when it happened because I had been waiting for a pee all day so I could rush him to the potty and make sure he finishes, but, you know, we'll, we'll try when he wakes up. So hopefully this next afternoon will go well, and, you know, I do feel like I might be able to start block two tomorrow or maybe do half block one, half block two tomorrow and see if we can start moving on, but I am feeling confident that he is somewhat getting it, at least understanding to pee in the potty. So yeah, we're just gonna keep working on it. Just finished day three of potty training and I think he did really well this afternoon. He, we basically prompted him every single time and he peed essentially every hour in the big potty. So it seems like he really likes peeing in the big potty. Um, he did pee once in the small potty and that's because I prompted him, sat him down and then I left and he peed. One other time I did try to prompt him on the little potty because I like that I can see how much pee he has but he got right up and he didn't want to sit down there so instead I put him on the big potty and he peed. He peed actually a good amount. I could see through our little pee pole that he pee was coming out. And so I think he just in, he just prefers, I think he either prefers the big potty or what's nice about it is that he can't get off on his own. So he's kind of stuck up there until I get him down. And it seems so far like he likes it when I leave the room, which might be problematic in the future for public restrooms, but hopefully that won't be an issue. Maybe I'll see if I can stay in the room and see what happens. He did have one accident, but it was during dinner because he was strapped in his high chair. I know most people suggest doing picnic style dinners, but he was drinking soup today and I did not want to have to clean that up. And just in general, if he's not strapped in his high chair, he's very distracted when he eats, running around, which is not good. And so, oh well, you know, and I think I would like to say that it's because he was strapped in, he couldn't get out. Um, but I'm feeling confident enough to move to block two tomorrow, which I know is usually the hardest part of potty training because that's when they go commando and they wear pants. Um, I think because prompting is working with him, I'm going to keep doing that at least every hour or so. I'm just a little worried that uh, because I've been prompting so much, I'm hope, I hope that he still has that connection between this is the feeling of having to pee and I go on the potty versus mom tells me to pee, I sit and then I go pee. Um, because I think in block one, she really emphasizes waiting till they start peeing or looking for those signs and then prompt putting them on the potty. But I feel like that's similar to prompting, so, and I just read the book again, and I, I'm, I am feeling confident about block two. So we're going to start tomorrow, even though I know it's going to, be a lot of wet pants, uh, I'm willing to try. So I'll let you guys know how tomorrow goes.
All right, Ezra's down for his nap. It is day four of potty training, and we are now in block two. Ezra had three successful potty successful pees in the morning, so I waited till he peed at least once in the morning. Then I put pants on him, and he did fine. So we thought we would try a small outing to Walmart. Um, yeah, so he peed right before we left, but he's doing this thing now where he flushes before he's before I'm able to see how much pee he has, unfortunately. So um, I did hear a little bit of pee, but I don't know how much it really was. And in hindsight, it probably wasn't enough. Um, so when we got to Walmart, about 30 minutes after he peed, and normally he, he pees every hour. Um, he peed while looking at the toys. So, you know, he definitely seemed a little bit bothered. It was fairly simple for me just to clean up and give him a new pair of pants. First outing. But then I was ambitious and tried to get him to use the public restroom to see if he could do it. So I waited about 40 minutes after his pee to maybe he would be able to go again. And maybe he didn't have to go, but yeah, we used the family restroom. And at first he kind of freaked out. He did not want to. Um, I tried to stand him on the seat, but I don't know if it's because I put a, a seat liner or if it's because he, he was kind of being all wiggly. He couldn't stand up straight. And I'm realizing now like how it's gonna be difficult for him to pee standing up because I think I need to take off his pants um, because he can't spread wide enough to pee over his pants. Or if he is spreading wide enough, he can't pee over his pants, even if I point his penis. So even if I point it, you know? And so we tried him sitting on it and that didn't work. And they actually had a small potty in that family restroom. So I tried to get him to sit on the small potty. He wouldn't do it. Then I also brought the Baby Bjorn little potty and he, I tried to get him to sit on that. He finally sat down on it and I told him to pee, I turned around and then he just got up. So maybe he didn't have to, but that was, you know, we weren't able to successfully do that. And when we came home, I tried to get him to pee, but again, he flushed on me. So I don't know if he actually peed. I don't think he did. And then he successfully peed about an hour or so later after he ate lunch. So, you know, we did have one accident while he was out because he peed earlier than I was expecting. and. That's, that's to be expected, and I'll just keep trying. Um, it's actually raining outside right now, so we probably won't go out anymore. Ideally, it would have been, our first outing would have been to the local park, but yeah, obviously we're not gonna do that, so maybe we'll try that tomorrow. But yeah, at least he's doing decent right now with his pants, and hopefully we'll see how it progresses. Hello everyone, so it is day five of potty training. I did not check in yesterday because honestly, it was just too crazy. But basically, I would say the only main thing that's changed is I did post in a Facebook forum group for the, the book that I read, asking people if how what they thought about me prompting so much because I realized that if I prompt every hour, as will pee, if it's something, you know, it will come out. But I'm, I thought maybe it wasn't good because it kind of circumvents him understanding the difference between peeing and connecting that with going to the bathroom. So. I did message the group and they did tell me it's probably better to not prompt as much and really just wait for his cues and his signs because that's kind of the difference between this book and other methods is that instead of prompting every hour, it's really to help them to connect that feeling of when I have to pee, I go to the potty versus I pee because my mom puts me on the potty. So yesterday was a lot of accidents because I was just kind of waiting for his cues. A lot of the times I either miss them or you know, we weren't paying attention, and yeah, so today has been a lot better. Um, it's only the first half of the day, but hopefully it'll be better of me just continue to watch his cues and help him to learn to connect that feeling. Uh, we also tried to use the bathroom a little potty outside after we went for a walk in a little secluded area, and he did not want to do that. So I think tomorrow I might try to go to the library for our small outing and see if I can bring the insert. And if he likes using the insert, then I can just buy a travel one. So yeah, that's the update for today, and I'll see you guys in my next update. This is the pajama pee graveyard over here. All the casualties from Ezra over the past two days. Although, okay, so this and that, they just got wet, these three things, so it's not pee, but everything else is, okay, and these two things are not pee related, but, yep, we're on that block three grind. Welcome to day six of potty training. Today, I just want to report that Ezra used the public restroom at the library, and it was a great success. I think I mentioned I was going to bring his insert to see how he did, and he did great, so I put the insert, which 
we normally have an R toilet and it didn't fit really, but it was just something. So I sat him down, I said, go pee pee. And of course he tried to flush the toilet like multiple times and I just kept saying, go pee pee. And he also was like falling off because he kept twisting to try to flush the toilet. And so that thing was not secure at all. But in the end he sat and he peed. Um, yeah, I, I was just really happy for him. Obviously cleanup was a little bit difficult and everything, but my, mo my mom was there to help me, which is good. And it was at the library, so it was a clean, large bathroom, handicapped stall. Everything was great. Uh, so I, I went ahead on the Amazon and I bought the insert, the travel insert that's, that's foldable. So I hope that continues to do to go well. Um, I think next would be to try a more uh, high traffic, busy type of public restroom, but I'm going to keep testing it and trying. And yeah, I'm just really happy for him. We haven't had any accidents uh, for the first half of the day. We'll see how the second half, because as you call yesterday, because yesterday he had two accidents after his nap. So we haven't had an accident free day, but I really feel like the win was that he used the public restroom. So we're gonna keep trying and keep going and hopefully it just gets better from here. Hi everyone, I just wanted to check in. It's been about two and a half weeks since Ezra has been potty trained or since we started potty training him. And I know I stopped doing some daily updates because honestly each day was pretty similar. At this point, he can use the restroom if we set him down. He can poop and pee in big and small potty. He prefers poop on the small potty. It's not even that he prefers it, it's more like I'm more easily able to get him to sit down and concentrate, which he kind of needs that concentration in order to poop, whereas pee, I can just sit him down on the big potty and he can just pee right away. Um, and he can use the public restroom, we haven't had really any issues there. And for the most part, he doesn't have that many accidents. Obviously, he still has a few accidents every few days, but it's usually when I'm not paying attention or one of us is busy and gets distracted and he pees. So right now, the biggest hurdle we're facing is resistance. Um, somehow I thought that resistance would only happen maybe in the beginning of potty training and not two weeks in, but we are facing it pretty hard. He just, every time we ask him, every time we tell him to go to the potty or go pee pee, he says no. Um, for the most part, he'll he'll kind of fuss but once we set him down he'll pee there are times where he refuses to sit and i would say 99 percent of the time since he's done that he hasn't had an accident so i'm just assuming he actually doesn't have to pee um but there are were a few times where it's obvious he had to pee but it's still not fun to have to work to get him to sit on the potty whereas before it was a lot easier so yeah, I would say that's the biggest hurdle that we're facing right now, but I would say, but I think the training part is pretty much over at this point. It's him just learning more, me learning more about his cues. I've gotten pretty good about seeing his pee cues and his timing in terms of when he drinks milk and how often he'll pee after that. But I'm sure there'll, there'll, I'm sure there'll still be a lot of learning to go. Uh, I'm gonna close this video out. And again, if you had, if you, if you guys have any questions about the method I used or any tips, um, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm just one person. I only have one son that I trained so far, and I don't have all the answers, but maybe other people can help. And I would suggest joining the Facebook forum group because it has a lot of good scenarios. People post all the time, and you can search for specific questions or issues. And yeah, good luck if you are potty training. It is probably so far one of the hardest things I've done in parenthood, mostly because it's dealing with behavioral issues, um, a toddler who is trying to assert their independence, pee and poop, which is not fun to clean up, um, not being able to leave the house, and just a lot of mental energy and a physical energy too, watching your child and making sure they don't have any accidents. So yeah, good luck to all of those people out there that are about to potty train or will potty train. I know it's difficult, but hang in there. Of course, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.